Hello everyone, welcome back to Same Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial on this channel, I'll be showing you how to uh, make a cut together, okay? Cut together a uh, sleeve with puff, sorry, cut together neckline with puff sleeve. So it's cut together because uh, it's an off shoulder cut together anyway. If you look at it there on the thumbnail, you will notice we have the neckline running down into the sleeve. So that makes it cut together. So I have my basic bodies pattern right here. Like you have us uh, draft every pattern on this channel starting from the basic body. So once you have the basic bodies, that is the foundation for all. Um, drafting so all you need to do is to go ahead build your pattern right inside your basic bodies so this is an off shoulder and it's a special kind of off shoulder it's not like the one we off by five off by you know and all that so this, you are going to see how we are going to do that so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share, share with family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So right away, we want to jump into this tutorial. And the first thing we will be doing is to share the shoulder seam line. As usual, once you have gotten your center and natural neckline, just share your shoulder seam line and connect to the bust point. So if you choose or if you want to make a, your... Um, your difference okay that is your bust radius which is the difference between the bust point this is the bust point and this is the under bust point line so if you have been following this channel you notice we also always make a bust radius so the bust radius is very important because it helps you to um, mark out wh where exactly you want your neckline to fall so you don't expose your bust and all that okay so that is why so you can see my boss sitting on this point okay that is where the boss is going to sit so right now i'm going to start off this off, off shoulder drafting and but before i do that let me finish with my contour under bust contour line so i choose to contour my under bust from the center front taking my tape around my under bust divide by four this is the result I got right here. So whatever I have remaining right here, I'm going to put 0.25 here and the rest of it right here for a perfect underbust contour line. So this is it. I'm going to place my pattern ruler. You can see me shifting my pattern ruler to match up from that point to the bust point. And I flip my pattern ruler from this point to the bust point. And then I will connect it back to the dark leg. By doing this, you have contoured your underbust perfectly for all sizes. All right, people. So this is my bust that right now. So you have to take the difference between your back length and your front length. And if you don't know how to do that, we have our classes on Telegram for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So you can join us on WhatsApp group. I'll be dropping the link. On the description box below so you can join the classes and fit yourself where you want to learn all right so this is it so we want to jump into the off shoulder now so to create our off shoulder neckline is just but simple I'm changing my marker to do that for clarity so I'll come at the tip of the shoulder drop I'll come down by one inch I'm connecting it to the chest line so this is my chest line. So it all depends on how deep, okay? I actually see that the off shoulder we have here is actually deep. The neckline is deep. So in other words, if you don't want it to be deep, all you need to do is to go up by one inch, okay? And connect. So whichever one you want, I'm going to make the two marks for you. So whichever you prefer, I'll use my red marker for the one inch, the one that went for one inch. And I'm going to use my black marker for the one that goes still at the one inch, okay? So any one of your choice, you can make use of it. So whichever one you have chosen on the neckline, all you need to do is to make an extension outside it like this. I'll follow this line. This is where the armhole is connected. I'm going to extend by three inches, okay? 
So three inches is standard and it works perfectly for every, almost everybody. Unless you're on a super plus size, you can do 3.5 or 4 inches. So once I've extended, next I'm going to do is to place my pattern ruler to form what we call a square. So how do you determine this square? You need a protractor for your square. So I have a protractor right here. I'm zooming my camera for you to see. You can also go to the bookshop and get a protractor for yourself. So you'll be able to get exactly 90 degrees at this point. So if you know how to use your protractor, if you don't know, you can go and learn how to do that. So I placed my pattern ruler and I want to mark out my zero, uh, my 90 degrees. So that is where I have my 90 degrees. So you don't just go squaring the line. You have to make sure you have here at 90 degrees. So it suits perfectly on the neckline. So once that is done, I'm going to determine the width I want to make use of for that off shoulder. So many a times 2.5 is very good. I'm shorting pepper here. So I'm supposed to do the 